Hey, my name is Cody Birch, and I want to show you how to make a brand new lead magnet from scratch using ChatGPT. I put together this guide, and there's a link in the description if you'd like to get these prompts, but this is what I call the AI boosted lead magnet, and we're going to use it for some research and to get a pretty great first draft. So the first prompt is this. I'm creating a resource to help my audience, but first I want to understand them better. Here's what I know so far, and then briefly describe your audience and their general interests. Based on this, can you help me identify their biggest challenges or frustrations, their most common goals or desires, and please provide a detailed breakdown of their pain points and aspirations so I can serve them better. So I'm going to copy and paste this into a new chat, into chat GPT. I'm just going to have to answer what's inside of this here. I work with course creators and membership site owners who want to get better at email marketing so they can make more sales, grow their list, and feel more confident with their email strategy. So it's helpful to say, I help these people do this thing so they can get this outcome. So I help membership site owners with their email strategies so they can make more sales of their membership or whatever. It's a useful uh, copywriting and persuasion tool, and it's really helpful for ChatGPT as well. So let's do some pain point brainstorming with ChatGPT about this target market. So here's what these types of people might struggle with. And then we can use these pain points to really get some great ideas for a lead magnet. Now, the good news is we're going to let ChatGPT do a lot of the heavy lifting and the brainstorming of what a great lead magnet might be. And then all we have to do is sift through which one of the ideas we get from ChatGPT are most aligned with us. Do we already have an existing resource or a point of view that can serve that audience? So this says an inconsistent or small list uncertainty about what to send, low engagement and open rates, emails aren't leading to sales, tech confusion, overwhelm. And I'm going to let that continue to write and go ahead and grab the next prompt. Now, ChatGPT will remember what we're talking about, so I don't need to remind it. So we don't need this full thing. But I'm going to go ahead and copy the second prompt that says, hey, using this information about my audience, I want to make a lead magnet aligned with my core offer. Now, in my case, I have an, uh, an email membership called Email School. And it helps people grow their list, engage with stories, and sell with campaigns. And now we're going to try to match the two together. I'm going to copy that. And really what we have here, we can read through it. We don't need to go through it with a fine tooth comb because in reality, I just need ChatGPT to know what it's talking about. And we're training it and seeding it and guiding it on how to think so we can help this market. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. I'm going to delete the part about pasting in there. Uh, results because it knows the results. My offer is a membership called email school. It helps this audience uh, grow their list, engage with stories, and sell with campaigns. They get more clarity, strategy, confidence, and consistency. Can you summarize how my offer solves their problems, helps me stand out? I'm going to let that run, and we can look at the outputs here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the next prompt while it's writing. And now that we've identified my audience's challenges and goals and how my offer solves their problems, can you now suggest 10 actionable lead magnet ideas? The ideas should provide immediate value, be quick and easy to consume, and align with both their challenges and the goals of my core offer. Looks like it's not quite done writing yet. I'm going to pause this, let it finish. So this is pretty good so far. It says they struggle to grow their list, so I give them proven list building strategies. They don't know what to send, so you give them simple, repeatable email plan. Their emails aren't leading to sales. You teach them how to sell without feeling salesy. They feel overwhelmed by tech and automation. You make emails simple and easy. They lack confidence and consistency. You give them accountability and support. And here's how you can work on your lead magnet. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the next prompt that now marries their pain points and what my core offer does and gives me some lead magnet ideas with my guidance. The one I really like so far, I've been thinking about this, but I haven't made it yet, is subject lines. That could be really interesting. So I'm going to let that work, and I'm going to come down here. The next prompt says... Let's outline one of the lead magnet ideas you suggested. I've chosen, and then pick the number you've chosen. The purpose of this lead magnet is to, whatever the purpose is, 
Can you create a simple outline for it? Please include an engaging introduction, three to five main sections with actionable content and a conclusion that ties it all together. So let's see what it came up with. So a lead magnet blueprint. I like that, but that's kind of what we're doing right now. The email confidence checklist. It's more of a mindset thing. I don't typically find those types of lead magnets useful. The storytelling email template pack. That sounds pretty good. Inbox to income mini course sounds really good. The list building ad copy swipe file, the perfect welcome email template, the five minute engagement boost checklist, launch email roadmap. So I like number 10, the sell without being salesy email scripts. And I like the perfect welcome email template. I'm going to go ahead and have number seven. So I'm going to paste the prompt and oops, I need to grab the prompt from here. Copy, paste, and just tell them what we've done here. Number seven. Help them see how a great welcome email is a great starting point, but they should join email school to know what to do next. So it's helpful while leaving breadcrumbs to the next offer. And now we're going to have it outline it. And sometimes depending on the mood that ChatGPT is in, it'll write the full thing. I'd rather it outline it first so I can verify the outline before it actually writes the whole thing. So far, so good. That hook is true. The problem is true. I like how it set it up with the hook, the problem, the promise. It's great. So I'm gonna let it go. And this next part is optional. Using this outline, uh, can you suggest three to five real world examples, case studies or relatable stories that I can include? You might wanna use something like the deep research uh, part here. Um, I think a lot of people for this lead magnet in this market I'm trying to help, they understand the power of a welcome email and the risk of doing it incorrectly. So I'm gonna leave that part out, but you can see how that might really add some data stories, case studies that make your lead magnet even more valuable, but I'm going to skip that part for now. And then craft the call to action. I may have already done it because I kind of teed it up in the beginning to talk about how the welcome series leads to the rest, but let's see. Um, now this is still written in outline form, which is fine. I'm going to pause and let it finish. All right, it's all done. I just gave it a cursory glance. This looks good enough for this demonstration here for this video. And now I'm going to have it write the actual lead magnet. Can you please write the lead magnet now? Be casual, detailed, and, I will, and I'll uh, copy and paste it into a Google Doc. So what I'll do now is open up a thing called ChatGPT Canvas. It'll open up a new document. Sometimes it wants some feedback on ChatGPT. So I kind of wish it didn't do this, but I can't control it. So um, I'm gonna let this run and we'll take a look at the results here in a sec. All right, I hate when it makes me decide because I think they're both good. So I'm gonna go with the first one. And I like that it's got a really casual introduction. Hey there, you just got a new subscriber. Now what? Most people overthink they're welcome, blah, blah, blah. This is a little more formal, a little bit longer on the left or on the right. Sorry, it doesn't really matter to me for the sake of this demo. So if you ever find ChatGPT doing this, pick the response that you prefer. And now I've got this done. So my next move is to copy and paste this. And I'm going to show you a tool I really like to use to beautify a lead magnet. And it's called Gamma. And let's go ahead and grab all of this copy. Click and drag, copy, go over to Gamma. It's a free app. There's some limitations on the free side, but it's actually not very expensive to upgrade. So click create new from AI and you have an option now to paste in text, generate from a one line prompt or import a file or URL. I'm just going to paste in text right now. And I would like to make this a document. And I'm going to let it just do the default style. Sometimes it, you might wish you hadn't done that and had clicked a more consistent style like letter, but uh, let's see what the default style looks like. Go ahead and hit continue and it'll now split up your text into cards. 
And with the free version, you get eight cards. This has made a lead magnet with six cards. And I need to do a little bit of editing. This is a chat GPT thing that I can fix, but it um, makes the, sometimes it uses emojis as bullet points and I wish it wouldn't. You'll see why here, it'll format it a little bit weird. Common mistakes. See how it just kind of messed up the formatting with the bullet points here because it used emojis. A little bit of formatting here. Cool. Now I have these cards. Now you can do some more formatting if you'd like, but I think this looks good enough for now. And now we pick a theme. I usually like something light. Like one of these is fine. Sometimes I like a little more color. Looks good. Let's go with the consultant theme for this one and click generate. And now it'll use AI to format and create the lead magnet right before our eyes. So it, sometimes we'll generate AI images in the background uh, or in the foreground. Sometimes it looks kind of weird. So double check any AI generated images. But right now this looks good. And of course you can modify any of this. You can swap out the images. You can swap out the colors and the buttons. It looks like that gave me a weird image. I don't think I'll be using here in a second, but we'll go review it. But it automatically formats the different pieces of your lead magnet, just based on the text that I copy and paste it in. It puts things in columns. Sometimes it makes charts or graphs or word pictures. But for now, this honestly looks pretty darn great. So a couple of things I want to change. The main one is just this photo. But let's go to the very top here. This photo here in the top is honestly probably fine. It looks like it's some confetti on a laptop, which is, which is fine. Uh, just double checking here for copy. I like when it's pretty much one sentence per line. Great. So this says, welcome to Wiley Cough to Smalls, which doesn't work for me. So you can click on card styling, the accent image, you can click on edit, and we can change it from AI images to a web image search, unsplash images, or pictographic illustrations, or there's even accent images based on the theme. It's like maybe none have pulled up for some reason. I'm going to click on pictographic illustrations. Oh, actually, I like that. Well, these three goals here is fine. This might, that doesn't quite look right. What it had was actually cool. Yeah, that's cool. Stones on a stream. And then you can uh, edit the video or edit the image a bit and kind of reset, you know, where it is. Drag it over. It looks fine for now. Three goals of welcome email. Yeah, they do skip to number three. That looks good. This all looks great. That's nice formatting on that card. It looks really nice. The only thing I'm going to do now is add a button. So if you type slash, you can pull up a menu. So button, the link to email school is school.com slash Cody slash about. Hit enter. Now we have a button and the button needs some style. Learn more about email school. You can also highlight this link or make it a link. Hit enter. Now that's a link as well. Um, right now that made these bullet points, but it included the check marks. So I'm going to remove the bullet points. Same thing here. But I'm pretty much done and I've got a great lead magnet that I think is important and it's helpful. And I'm just scanning now for legibility. I don't love this picture actually. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm just going to change it where there's no, there is no uh, picture. There's a couple different images and you know, image layouts you can use here, but for now, this is going to be fine. Okay. All right, this looks good. So now we're done. Uh, I would go to, you can either share this link directly or you can click on share, click on export, export to PDF is my favorite. And then I would upload this to Google Drive. And then whenever somebody downloads my lead magnet, I would then send them this link to this lead magnet. And it looks 
looks really great. If you're curious what it looks like on the gamma side as well, click on share or click on, uh, was it present? And it shows you what it would look like if you were to send somebody this link. It loads kind of like a web page, um, which is which may be what you're looking for. And it adds some little animations. It's kind of nice. But I'm going to use the PDF in my Google Drive and put it on the back end of a of a thank you page um, once people opt in for this. So I'm going to go make that in ConvertKit, and uh, then I can start using this as a lead magnet right away. And that only took about 15 minutes.